Welcome to Microeconomics. Today we will be learning about the natural rate of unemployment, often called the non-accelerating inflation rate of unemployment. I'm your host. In the graph, change in the unemployment rate versus GDP growth, I have plotted in a scatter graph the change in the unemployment rate and the annual growth rate of GDP. Notice that there is a data cluster around the x-intercept. This cluster shows that when an unemployment is not changing, the economy is growing at a natural rate of 3%. At the natural rate of unemployment, the unemployment rate is not changing so the economy must be at full employment and there's no pressure on prices. If the economy is growing at, say, 4%, then more workers would be needed to manufacture output. Labor resources become scarce, so workers demand higher wages. Firms respond to these wage requests by raising their prices. In this graph, I have rearranged the data to show the natural rate of unemployment. In my graph, the economy is growing at 3% when the natural rate of unemployment is about 5.8%. Since the economy is at full employment, there's no pressure on prices. When the economy is operating below its full employment rate, workers ask for wage increases. Producers will respond by raising prices. At the natural rate of unemployment, workers expect inflation to remain unchanged. This graph from the Congressional Budget Office shows how the natural rate of unemployment has changed over the decades. Economists cite changes in workforce demographics and technology as reasons why the natural rate is dynamic. The actual unemployment rate shows that the economy fluctuates around its natural rates of unemployment and growth. I have included this graph to show that the natural rate of unemployment changes and isn't a static number. This concludes my tutorial. Please join me at my blog at microeconomics.blogspot.com